Glad the youngins uh, made it through the whole round, Craig. And very nice course. We're on to our next one. Mayday here. Welcome back. Well, my two cents on that, making uh, the fourth at that course that shall not be mentioned better. Doesn't need to be 250 frickin' yards. I mean, it is an Eden after all. So, I, I can't can't think of it many other Edens that uh, are that lengthy. But that and $1.99 will get you a coffee and maybe a hash brown at McDonald's. So, yeah. <laughs> It's dumpster fire time. Kachinya Canyon Trail, uh, just fresh off the press by uh, Matt F27. Uh, do we have? I'm not even sure we got the uh, the course. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, three wood into a ten yard uh, green, downhill with two tiers, mind you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's what's wrong with that? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's so fresh that Matt hasn't even filled out his form yet. But, uh, second canyon of the course. <laughs> yeah, the publish error. 187s. This should be fun. Matt saying it might make it more beneficial. So, are are, are you dare saying, Matt, that this was a um, happy accident? Oh, look at all the bunkers. All the bunkers. As we fly around here, uh, we're actually... Uh, we got a step course here. Not that you could tell from the internal workings, but uh, well, actually, hold on while I'm thinking here, because I kn I know somebody in our uh, is going to be keen to see this. They're going to want to see the overhead of the entire course and the routing. So. I should grab that right away. Take care of that request that I know I'm going to be asked for, so. <laughs> ben kept yelling for more bunkers. But only if they were in the center line, right, Trail? Alrighty. And we are all eternally grateful. The center line is so 2020. Although, I mean, if if we want to get technical, you draw a line. Uh, you could argue that's a center line bunker. These are center line bunkers. If you're playing straight from the tee to the the pen. It's just the fairway weaves around the center line. Doesn't necessarily have to mean a, a bunker that is in the middle of a fairway. Too technical. <laughs> I see a kicker I want to try to exploit. Or we'll just take it straight at it and come up short. Whee! Get there. Matt! Screw it up. These should be 188s. If that was a 188, I'd have made that putt. <laughs> 
back the game. <laughs> we, for all intents and purposes, have a double green here. I'm sure we've got two pins up top, one or somewhere in there. It went all the way down here. I like this number, though. What a green. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Eh, nothing like short-siding yourself on a par three, right? It's fine. Chippy Mc Chip face almost struck again. Saggy poops. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh lord. That green brought to you by Harley Davidson. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, let's see what we got. I would say Matt was blocking the fast, but he's a left-handed player, so this is almost working right into the wheelhouse for his fast. And I go and slow it just because. It is a good angle in, though, I must say. Get up there. Big kick. Par five here. Big bender of a par five. And that is some cheeky hazard placement right there. Want to take the want to take the cheese route? Yeah, let's stick a bunker right where you're going to land. And yet have it to be functional for the hole that it plays on. <laughs> Never a problem that can't be fixed with another bunker. Well, you know, if I didn't try to break the hole, somebody else was going to. Not that you would have wanted to come in from the left-hand side to this pin anyway. Ooh. Got a little double plateau action going on here. So are, are we saying that that bunker was another happy accident? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Seabach. <laughs> but yes, that is exactly what Brittany told me. You are right. Uh, we'll take the comfy birdie. See, the bunker was totally functional for the hole that it was supposed to serve. Nice bit of layering as well. Ooh. That camper's going to throw me into the right hand rough, isn't it? Yeah, but not bad. Oh, well, lie is good and up 27. Matt, it is in the, uh, oh, look at this. Come on back. Keep coming. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll throw you the link here. Just give me, give me two seconds. All right. There you go, good sir. We've just made back-to-back -back birdies. There are the center line bunkers. Ooh, and another par five. Well, we've got to get left of those center line bunkers to have the best angle in. All right. Well, YOLO. In a way, almost another kind of a tip of the hat to road, isn't it? Except in par 5 form. Enter the stork or the the side contest? You mean? Um, not this go around limp. Um, basically, what we did is the registration period uh, ran during the month of December, uh, and what happened was we had more more people sign up than there were spots. Um, I think we had somewhere in the low. 50s, I believe, sign up. And obviously we could only take 32 for the main field. Uh, so that's where the side contest came in for the for those who wanted to participate, but uh, Are they ever, Matt? <laughs> are they ever? As long as people are good sports about it, I don't I don't care about jokes. But I, I did want to get, get the serious answer out there. So, uh, no, not this go around. And, and and part of the reason they're too limp is because uh, it's kind of been standard practice in the past with our contests that, um, and it, it's kind of an honor system deal, but uh, 
you don't break ground on the course until you have officially registered and uh, declared that you're going to participate. That way you just can't pull out something, you know, some project you've been mooshing and, you know, fiddling with for nine months and say, oh, this is my World Cup course now. Uh, basically the premise is uh, you've got three months to build something that uh, that is really kick-ass. And there is... Time management actually is kind of a a low key important bit of these contests, so that that's why we don't do it. Ladies and gentlemen, super chicken. Super chicken. Oh yeah, for sure. And then and then Lemp keep keep an eye out. Uh, I mean, Design League. I think they're getting close to ending one round, so they might. Uh, uh, they might be uh, getting set to start another round of that. That's one to hop into. Um, actually, y you've got the guy who's uh, uh, organizing and running the CC contest in, in chat right now. That is that is Matt F. So uh, I, I know he put out some details about that. What, maybe, what, a week or so ago, Matt? You, you posted something in that thread? They're not taking registration yet, but uh, uh, that will be coming up in uh, in the not-too-distant future. It is, Matty. Why do you think I haven't joined? Oh, that's flagged. <laughs> oh, but I did not want to be above the hole here. That was one that was always going to be so hard to get that high enough, especially on 187s. Uh, that, that, yes, is typically how we roll them. So... Have it all right. Well, you know, you know, you found your way to the forums. That's always a good spot. Check out the the course contest subsection, and there you can find the links to to everything you need to know. Just the least little bit of help for the wind. <laughs> oh, the Matty Rants are good. The Rant game is strong. Believe you me. Gosh. 
Well, I think our putter has officially cooled off. Went out in a blaze of glory with that eagle on six. And it has quickly begun its descent. Ooh, here we go. Red well, this one just for pithy is more of a quasi redan. Not quite running all the way back there from the front, but. Get up there. All right, that was a heat check. And by heat check, I mean if it had any heat whatsoever left in it. Long uphill par five. Actually, probably want to cheat toward the left-hand side of this fairway. Oh, not that far left, though. Now, Matt, did I see correctly in the damn chat that your break between courses has lasted all of 90 minutes? Do you already have a new project that you're fiddling with? I'm going to out you right here on, on stream. <laughs> No. Oh, I see. Now, now I've read the whole vert. Now I. You know, it helps if you read the whole text string. Oh, don't go too deep. Don't go too deep. It went too deep. Oh, Soto. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Definitely should have been 177s. Fail. Oh, hit the pan. Oh, this could get ugly real quick. <laughs> right? Oh, a double bogey on a par five. Just stand me up straight and kick me straight in the sack. Oy. All self-induced. That's painful. So naturally, I come back and birdie the long par four that follows it. <laughs> we'll go back and clip it. I mean, this is going to be on VOD. Ooh. 
Ooh. Almost too many punch bowls here. Oh, and it's a kicker. Oh, must use the kicker. Oh, we didn't get enough of that one. Oh, no, 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 no. And once you know I'm like Terry, drinking out of the wrong bowl again. Well, good speed. Hey, baby bull. Good evening. Another par five, all right. Let's not do something stupid and let's 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 not double this one. Ooh, but it's uphill. Oh, this might be a little too much, but we're gonna do it anyway. Time for the scob special. That's going to work. In your life, have you seen somebody play three par fives in three seven three? <laughs> we are three under through four par fives with a double bogey. <laughs> to be honest, though, that one was pretty much dead nut straight. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm sure Spieth has at some point. That is an excellent call. Yes, this is turning into a very Jordan Spieth round. <laughs> Please keep your arms safely inside the ride at all times. Mega draw? You betcha. Whoa, that's too much. Was this like big time uphill? Did I just not notice it? Probably. Another backboard. I see it. Oh, 
but we got a perfect. Don't get on the wrong side of that hump. Don't you go. No. <sighs> well. Um, this will be fun. That's what I keep telling myself too, Justin. It never does. The monster green. The ode to Tottenham I see here. I can dig it. Oh, too much. How can you miss something that big, which is exactly what I asked my wife the last time she threw a water balloon at my ass. <laughs> hey, Narwhal. It's a little golfing village near Flagstaff. I see. We are on our third World Cup play through the night. Kachina Canyon Trail. Man F-27. Uh, this will get us through all the main courses uh, that have published so far. We do have a couple of side contest courses that uh, uh, we're going to be playing in the next a couple of nine holders uh, that we've got. Uh, we've got Surliasis coming up uh, that we're going to do it a little bit. And uh, J Ray Guns as well, uh, that we're going to be playing here in just a little bit once we get done with this round. So stick around. We still got a couple more courses to, to play this evening. Let me look, Brian. I need to look for the one who signed his course, his his form, Big Ass Rocks. So give me a moment. Uh, you you did, you did, Brian. And actually, uh, that is going to be one of my projects this weekend to go through and uh, uh, get the volunteers all set up because we can we can probably get a jump on that with a few of the nine hole courses already in. So.
Oh, yeah, I'm going to be playing a couple more on stream tonight. Yes, Matt. A couple of nine holers, so they should go fairly quick. I'll take a couple more minutes before the next one because I'm also going to say goodnight to the offspring. Oh, shit. I really didn't want to miss that fairway, did I? Whoopsie. Oh, well, that's a take your medicine hole. And that's how you make four the hard way. 32 on the back after starting with a double. Uh, for the, <laughs> can you? No, I, for the side contest, I mean, they'll use the same, same rubric that we use as far as, you know, judging, you know, playability and shot values, technical, Execution, aesthetics, routing, whatnot, overall feel and playability, all that good stuff. But uh, it'll just be in a more condensed, uh, condensed format. So, a fun Fritch round as always. Sixty-three with a double on the card, not too bad. So, yeah, that's right. It's probably right in that CC wheelhouse, which I didn't. His form is in. I haven't even checked yet, so I'm I'm assuming I'd laugh if the di intended difficulty wasn't CC. Okay, medium difficulty, high end CC. But uh, no, fun round. So, alrighty, guys. Again, we're gonna pause the stream for just a minute. I am going. It'll be probably about five minutes before we jump uh, in. <laughs> jump into the next one. Uh, do need to tuck the wee one into bed uh, but when we come back we are going to play Papua Murta uh, by Sir Liasi uh, one of our nine hole uh, side contest entrants so stick around and we will be right back for that one in a couple of minutes <laughs> 